Infusing modern punk with 80s goth, new wave, and the misfits. That's AFI, dude. Sing the Sorrow walked so that Red Eye Shadow Warp Tour could run. All right, what's up, Cobb Salads? I had to get a new camera, and welcome to another episode of Guarsenio's High School CD Booklet Review. A YouTube show where I review all of the albums in my high school CD collection, and it doesn't get much more high school for me than this page. Because in my opinion, we are talking about one of the most underrated and influential major label releases of the early 2000s, AFI's Sing the Sorrow. This is probably one of my oldest physical albums. Like, look at this. It's got a bunch of schmutz on it. I feel like I revisit this album once every five years and each time I'm like, nope, still kicks ass. I talked about discovering AFI in the Black Sails and the Sunset episode. If you haven't watched that one, go check it out right now. That's also a really good album. This is a half sleeve tattoo that lets you know that a person has thrown up in a warped tour porta potty. But yeah, again, I saw the Girls Not Gray video on MTV and I thought they were the shit. Their sound was a combination of so many different types of music that I liked, but didn't know could work together like that. I also loved a genderless glam look. Still do, still think they look great. I mentioned that I think this album is underrated, and that's because bands like My Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boy, Atreyu, and even Green Day all capitalized on what AFI did on this album. Infusing modern punk with 80s goth, new wave, and the misfits, that's AFI, dude. Sing the Sorrow walked so that Red Eye Shadow Warp Tour could run. Around this time, I remember being shocked that the band wasn't bigger. I'd be watching MTV2 and Fuse and whatever, and just seeing the I'm Not Okay and American Idiot videos and wondering, what about AFI, man? And then I remembered the Sing the Sorrow tour barely happened, it got canceled. Davey Havoc blew his voice out days before they were supposed to play my hometown. I remember expecting them to like reschedule the date, but it never happened. They went radio silent for years. It's a shame because I feel that the tour cancellation and Davey's voice going bye-bye really hurt their chances at becoming one of the biggest bands of the early 2000s. Don't get me wrong, they were big, but they weren't My Chemical Romance, Panic at the Disco, and all these other bands that yacked their stees big. And you could kind of feel that, like, we're coming back for the crown energy when they return in 2006 with December Underground. Oh, so y'all are doing black clothing and red eyeshadow now? Fuck you! White clothing and purple eyeshadow! But yeah, this isn't a December Underground episode. I just think it's an interesting return based on how they had to leave. Let's talk about this album art, though. I don't know. What am I going to make fun of? Leaves? Or books? Yeah, I don't have any bits. This is the most respectable album art of the decade. It's like that business card scene from American Psycho. Simple, elegant, no violent imagery or cartoon women in sight. This album also might be the most influential for me as far as my songwriting and my guitar playing, if I'm being honest. Van Halen, Thin Lizzy, Prince, and Megadeth are like my Mount Rushmore of favorite bands. But this album showed me that you can write poppy, catchy things, but still make them fast, intense, and interesting. So yeah, to sum up, I think this album still kicks ass, and I think it's kind of a shame that AFI doesn't get credited with creating that insane boom period of Red Eye Shadow Punk. But yeah, that does it for this week's episode. If you want to let me know what you thought of the album or tell me that I probably should have talked about how weird the Silver and Gold video is, there's the comment section. Next week's a big one because we're talking about Taking Back Sunday. Not the one that most people love, the one that got them a lot of money and into the Fantastic Four movie. It's two minutes to late night!